Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Pancakes and waffles usually require two separate recipes, but I found one recipe that works well for both. For the dry ingredients, you'll need one cup of all-purpose flour, one and one quarter teaspoons of baking powder, one half teaspoon of baking soda, and one tablespoon of granulated sugar. Use a fork or whisk to combine the dry ingredients. The wet ingredients include one cup of buttermilk, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and one large egg. Again, use a fork or a whisk to combine the wet ingredients. Add the liquid to the flour mixture and combine using a fork or whisk. If necessary, add additional buttermilk, milk, or water to thin the batter. The batter should have about the same consistency as cake batter. Preheat a large skillet or griddle to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm using an infrared thermometer to check the griddle temperature. Use a large spoon to transfer the batter to your skillet or griddle. This 11 inch griddle makes four four inch pancakes. Cook the first side two to three minutes depending on your griddle temperature until bubbles form and the edges appear dry. Use a spatula to turn the pancakes over and cook the second side one to two minutes or until browned. Cooked pancakes can be placed on a baking sheet and kept warm in a 200 degree oven. Leftover pancakes can be cooled, placed in a freezer bag, frozen and reheated at a later date. You can use the same batter to make waffles. I'm making Belgian waffles, but you can use this recipe in any waffle maker. Most electric waffle makers come with a light that comes on when you plug it in. Preheating takes three to five minutes. The waffle maker is up to temperature when the light goes out and you're ready to make the first waffles. Spoon in the amount of batter appropriate for your waffle iron. This seven inch Belgian waffle iron makes four waffles with this recipe. Normally you wait for the light to go out to indicate that the waffle is ready but for this recipe, I found that it produced an overcooked dry waffle. For my waffle iron, three minutes produced the right color and texture. One fourth of this recipe has about 240 calories and 370 milligrams of sodium. Thank you for watching.